So I want to visit this source here. Um, I found this source that was provided pretty interesting. On face value, I'm just going to read, on the Hebrew biblical calendar, a day begins and ends at dusk. See Genesis 1. Accordingly, each of these feast days begins and ends at sundown. That's correct. A day, according to Genesis chapter 1, begins at evening. So I want to uh, go here to this website and I want to take a look around a little bit and stack up some of the things that it's saying next to the testimony of Enoch. All right. So here we are. Fair use. Again, this is just for educational purposes and to edify um, my followers concerning the calendar. So uh, we have here on the website, it is detailing the 2024 feasts and new moon dates. And now again, I've said that one of the things that we go wrong in calculating the calendar is following the moon, the actual luminary moon in the sky. I wanted to read this here. Now, I hope to go into a little later, Yah willing, in another video, this term, new moon, also known as Rosh Kodesh. They have it here, Rosh Kodesh. In the Hebrew, Rosh Kodesh is explained as head of the month head of the month also head of the month is interchanged with new month that's where a lot of us go wrong so that's where you have people going out on their porch and looking at the moon as opposed to calculating when the head of the month begins so here they have an asterisk a note that says these dates are taken from a calendar synchronized to start each hebrew month on the new moon as it would be seen from the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Now, I, I just want to put on your mind, you know, for those of us who are spread into the four corners of the earth, America, um, Africa, even some of us who are right around the corner from Jerusalem, but not there. There's a couple of things that I find difficult with this. Um, you're basically telling someone that they have to be in the land and an astronomer in order to determine when Yah's new month has started. And all of this is by looking at the moon. This new moon is calculated using lunar phase software that can pinpoint the moon's position and phase at any time from any latitude, longitude on the earth. So again, you have to be someone very skilled and you you would have to also follow someone who's very skilled. Let's say that you don't you're not you're not equipped. Let's say that that's just too burdensome for you to go outside and watch the moon. So you're dependent on somebody to tell you when Rosh Kodesh or the head of the month begins based on their logic to go outside and watch the moon. In the time of, of Noah, Abraham, etc., they did not have software. They didn't even regard the luminaries, honestly. What they did was they reckoned the time using math. They reckoned the time using the seasons. They go on to say, in some cases, they do not match the dates determined by Jewish rabbis because a lot of them don't agree. And so just to put that out there, it's no different than those of us who are in this community of people. We are not all going to agree on a calendar. And that's because of different doctrines. Some people calculate them differently. But if you keep a calendar in faith, prayerfully, Yah will bring you to a higher understanding on how to get those calculations I'm getting ready to show you one way that we reckon Yah's appointed feast dates. And I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my very best to explain it because, you know, the way that I was taught it, you have to sit down with your teacher and that your teacher has to map it out. You have to have a piece of paper. You have to have a pen. You have to have the Bible. You have to be able to read the creation story, as it says here in Genesis 1. You have to be able to map this thing out in order to see how Yah tells us to reckon these times. And so let's do this just to show you all how to mathematically reckon the dates according to the Enoch calendar, 364 days, right? 52 weeks. Let's on face value reckon these dates using a simple date calculator. Here I have a source, my source number three, that provides the upcoming um, dates for Sukkot for the year of 2025 and 2026. Let's put them in. We have Sunday, October 6th, 2025 is when the first day of Sukkot 
begins. And then in 2026, they have the first day of Sukkot in September 25th. So let's go to this date calculator and let's calculate how many days in a year that is. So let's put those dates in, shall we? October 6th, 2025. For them, that's on a Monday. That's another point that we have to address because according to Enoch's calendar, any feast day that begins on a Monday is incorrect. And then we have their feast day beginning September 25th. So remember, according to Enoch's calendar, a year has to equate 364 days and 52 weeks. We'll start with that. All right. So making sure I have the dates. These dates are the first day of Sukkot for the year 2025 and 2026, according to the third resource site of dates for the fall feast calendars. Let's calculate it. All right, so we have a discrepancy here already. If the first day of Sukkot begins on a Monday in 2025 and it begins on a Friday in 2026, we are way off. I could already determine that before I put the dates in the calculator and got these numbers because the days are already off. Just so I can give it away to you now and I'll explain further. All of Yah's Rosh Chodeshim, which are heads of the month, should begin on a Wednesday. That is in correlation to the creation story. I'll go more into that, but just take me at face value. All heads of the month are supposed to begin on a Wednesday. And on the Hebrew calendar, that is called the fourth day, also known as Yom Revi'i, the fourth day. If you look in Genesis chapter 1, when the luminaries were created, the sun and the moon for days, months, and seasons, that was listed in Genesis and it began on the fourth day of creation. That's my quick answer. So not only are these days, according to Enoch's calendar, wrong or incorrect, the equation of a full year is nowhere in here, given these dates. October 6, 2025 to September 25th, 2026 is approximately 11 months, 19 days, or 50 weeks, or 354 calendar days. We're off. We're off by 10 days. This is a clip from a series, Be Dressed and Ready, Reckoning Set Feast of Yahweh Using Enoch's Calendar. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more. To learn more, please watch each part in its succession and more will be coming, Yah willing. Thank you.